So I want to go ahead and show you guys how to remove seamless Monaco hair extensions. This hair has been in for about four to five weeks and she's just ready to get them redone. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this process and how it works. So we're going to go ahead and take our solution, spray it on the seal. And as you can see, it peels off very easily. And we just flip to the other side and then we pull the remainder off. So her hair extensions are off. These would get washed and cleaned and ready to retape and I'll show you how to retape that too. So now that we have the hair extension off, we're gonna give one more spray with the solution around the adhesive, the medical adhesive tape that was used. Just gonna give it some wiggle room and peel right off. If a seamless hair removal is done properly, you're gonna see no residue. And as you can see, close up, she has no residue in her hair. So we're gonna go ahead and clean our seamless hair extension that we've taken from our guest hair. We're gonna spray our solution on the seal. We're just gonna take our fingernail and take off any extra residue. So as you can see, no residue and no tape. So her hair extensions have been washed and dried. They're ready for reapplication. I wanna go ahead and show you guys how to do that. It's very simple. First, we do have two different options of tape. We have our brown tape and we have our blue tape. One is gonna be a little bit finer. It's gonna be better for finer textures. The blue one's gonna have a little bit more hold. That's gonna be better for medium to coarse hair. So we do have two different types. Our guest today is gonna to go ahead and get the blue tape. Gonna go ahead and just place it on. Make sure it's even. It's not dead center in the middle like it is right now. It can cause for shedding or slippage from just water and moisture. Once our tape is on the hair, just gonna go ahead and make a quick cut. And now we're ready for application.